Welcome back to Movie On. Today I'm going to explain the movie called Mirrors 2 from 2010. This movie has no connection with Mirrors 1 movie. This is a standalone movie. The ending of this movie is so interesting. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care, and I hope you enjoy it. At the beginning of the movie, we saw a guy named Max and his girlfriend named Kayla. Max was driving the car, and while driving the car, he got distracted. Therefore, they got into an accident, and Kayla died in this accident. Max lived in this accident, but he always blames himself for the death of Kayla, because the accident was his fault. Therefore, Max was always in depression. Max took psychiatric therapy to get rid of this guilt, even though the fault was the drivers who came in front of their car, because the driver was driving while he was drunk. In the next scene, we saw a night guard named Henry. He was roaming around a mall. After some time, he found a big mirror and took off the cover of it. He was acting so strangely in front of the mirror, but then his reflection in the mirror is not the same as his movement. The reflection of him did exactly the opposite. The torch fell off his hand and his reflection began to eat the broken glass of that torch. And then Henry's face started to bleed so badly. He was screaming in pain, but there was no one to help him. After that, we saw Max once again. His father called him and told him that the night guard of the mall had eaten glass, and he does not want to do this job anymore. Along with that, another worker from the mall just disappeared a few days ago. We couldn't find him anywhere. Max's father wants to open the mall as soon as possible. That's why he asked his son, Max, to do the duty of a night guard for a few days. Max agreed with his father because he needed that job because of his depression. In the next scene, we saw that when Max was coming to the mall, he met a girl. She was putting up posters of her missing sister, and she was that missing girl who went missing from the mall that Max's dad just told him about. Max went to the mall, and his dad introduced him to three people. One of them was Jenna, and she was the head buyer of the mall. One of them was Keller, and he was the store manager of that mall. Lastly, Ryan, he was the vice president of that mall. After meeting everyone, Max went to the kitchen, but then he saw a woman standing behind him in the mirror. At first, he thought that it was his hallucination, but he saw that woman once again, and she was hitting the mirror with her hand. Max was so scared to see this. The next night, when he was roaming around the mall, he saw the reflection of Jenna in the mirror, and Jenna pulled her head from her body. Max was about to faint out after seeing this. On the other side, we saw that Jenna came out of the bathroom after taking a shower but then she got scared after seeing her reflection in the mirror. Jenna got so scared that she stepped back, and while stepping back, her legs slipped, and she fell on the bathtub. But unfortunately, a broken piece of glass fell on her neck and cut her head off her body, and she died. The next day, Max got the news of Jenna's death, and he became so surprised that yesterday he saw that in the mirror that Jenna will die soon. Once again, when Max was roaming around the mall, he saw Ryan's reflection in the mirror, and he was cutting his own belly. His intestines came out of his belly. Max realized that maybe Ryan is about to die now, and he will die exactly as he killed himself in the mirror. On the other side, Ryan was cooking in his kitchen, and when he was going to the dining table with the food, he saw that there was no reflection of himself in the mirror. He got so terrified after seeing this, and started walking towards the mirror. But suddenly, his reflection appeared in the mirror. He was shocked after seeing this. He was wondering that how this is possible. The reflection of Ryan had a knife in his hand, and his reflection cut off both legs one by one. And we saw that Ryan fell on the floor, and he was not able to walk at all. Then Max called Ryan so that he could tell him that he was in danger. On the other side, Ryan was trying to reach the phone. But before he could get to the phone, his reflection cut his tummy with that knife, and his intestines came out and Ryan died exactly in the same way that Max saw in the mirror. On the other hand, Max was so worried about this, because Ryan didn't receive his call, and that's why he ran to his house so that he could save his life. But it was already too late. He went to Ryan's house and saw that there were police and media personalities in front of his house. After that, Max called his father and told him that he does not want to do this job anymore, because something very unnatural was going on with him but then he saw a reflection on the water on the road. It was the reflection of his dad. He saw that there were so many scars on his face. Max realized that his dad is now in danger. That's why Max immediately started running towards his house. 
On the other side, we saw that Jack was cutting his pizza. But we saw that the reflection of Jack was cutting his own face with that pizza cutter. Jack felt so strange, but luckily, his son Max came there, and he saw that his dad was still fine. He saw the reflection of his dad in the mirror, and it was about to kill his dad. The reflection that Max saw on the road was just to scare him, so that he does not leave his job, because there was still some unfinished business in the mall. Max told his dad that he will not leave this job, and went back to the mall, and he met two detectives in the mall. They started interrogating him about these two recent murders, because they had a doubt that Max killed them, but they had no proof against Max. That's why they let him go. But they told him that from now on, we will keep our eyes on you. And then Max went to that mirror and asked, what do you want? In reply, the reflection in the mirror showed him a way towards upstairs. Max went upstairs and found an ID card of a girl named Eleanor. She worked in the mall, and she was the girl who went missing, and her sister Elizabeth was putting her missing posters up, and his dad told him about this girl at the beginning. The reflection of that mirror pointed towards the outside on that missing poster. Max called the number on that poster and contacted Elizabeth. The next day, Max went to meet Elizabeth. He told her that, from the day I started working in the mall, something very unnatural was happening to him, and I know something about your sister Eleanor. Elizabeth didn't believe him and walked away from him, but somehow Max convinced her to listen to him. In the next scene, we saw that Max told her Ryan and Jenna died because of these unnatural events. They also worked in the mall, and I think that the missing of your sister has some connection with their deaths. Elizabeth asked him why are you working as a guard in the mall. Max said that a few years ago, he lost his wife in a car crash. When he tried to wear a ring on the finger of his fiance, then a drunk driver hit their car. As a result, his fiance died in this crash. From then he was so depressed, and to get rid of this depression, he took the job of a night guard. And then Elizabeth told him about her sister. She went to the grand opening party of the mall. And after that, she went missing. Max went back to his house and saw the reflection of Eleanor in the mirror. She said that she will kill him with scissors. But Max told her that I'm ready to do everything that you want me to do. But suddenly, Max woke up and realized that whatever he just saw was just a nightmare. At night, Max went to the mall and checked the security cameras. Max checked all the footage of that day when Eleanor went missing, but he didn't find any footage of that day, because someone had deleted the footage, and only the previous security guard, Henry, could have done this. Elizabeth and Max went to Henry's house, and they saw that Henry had covered all the mirrors in his house with paper, so that he does not see any kind of reflection. Suddenly, Henry came out, and his face was totally destroyed because of the glass his reflection ate that night in the mall. Max and Elizabeth asked him about Eleanor, but he didn't want to tell them anything. But Max entered his house forcefully, and Henry told him that I don't know what happened to Eleanor, but I have deleted that footage because Keller told me to do so. And then Max and Eleanor realized that Keller was behind the reason for Eleanor being missing. They also realized that Henry is trying to hide something about the basement of the mall. That's why they immediately went to the basement and tried to find some clues. But then Keller saw them through the security camera, and he went to the basement with his gun. He tied Elizabeth with a shelf, and he went ahead to get Max as well. But before that, Elizabeth freed her hand and ran away from there. But Keller fired at her, and then he also fired at Max. Meanwhile, Max found the dead body of Eleanor. This means Eleanor was dead, and the killer of her is none other than Keller. On the other side, Elizabeth tried to run away from the basement, but Keller was after her. Keller was able to get her, but then he saw in the mirror that he was holding Eleanor instead of Elizabeth. And then the story went to flashback. We saw that Eleanor was at the grand opening party of the mall. Jenna, Keller, and Ryan were also at the party. Jenna put a drug in Eleanor's drink. After drinking it, she got so drunk, and Keller took her to the basement. He raped her in the basement. Eleanor tried to run away from the basement to save her life, but Keller found her and beat her so badly. Keller knows that if Eleanor survives, then she will tell everything to the police, and Keller will get arrested. That's why he killed her. But while he was killing her, her unsatisfied soul got locked in that mirror. This means Eleanor was the one who has killed Jenna and Ryan, and she has destroyed the face of Henry. The story comes back to the present time, and we saw that Keller was trying to kill Elizabeth, but Max came there and saved her. 
But then they saw the soul of Eleanor in the mirror. She wanted to take revenge. Then Max pushed Keller near the mirror, and we saw that Eleanor's soul pulled him inside the mirror. And finally, she killed the last surviving criminal who had killed her. And just like that, she took revenge for her death by killing Jenna, Ryan, and Keller. In the next scene, we saw that the detectives were interrogating Henry. Henry told them that he had deleted those security footage because Keller told him to do so. And after that, they left the room. But Henry saw that the mirror was slowly cracking, and the movie ended with a scream from Henry. To watch more explanations of these kinds of movies, click on the videos on your screen. And don't forget to let me know how you feel about today's video in the comments down below. And at last, I will say, stay safe, stay well, thanks.